If you think back to your childhood, you might recall scattered moments, a birthday party, a favorite toy, or the first day of school. But what about the years before that? For most people, memories from before the age of three or four seem to vanish entirely. Why does this happen? Where do those early memories go? Scientists call it childhood amnesia, and the reason behind it is more fascinating than you might think. Before we dive in, if you love unraveling the mysteries of the mind, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Every sub helps me keep making more mind-blowing videos for you. Now, let's explore why our earliest memories seem to disappear. Why can't we remember being babies? The brain wasn't ready yet. One reason we don't remember our earliest years is that our brains simply weren't developed enough to store long-term memories properly. The hippocampus, the part of the brain responsible for memory, is still rapidly growing and forming new connections in infancy and early childhood. Because of this, our brains may not have had the ability to organize and retrieve those early experiences. Memories need language. Memory and language are deeply connected. As babies, we hadn't yet developed the words to describe the world around us. Because of this, even though we may have experienced things, we didn't encode them in a way that allows for recall later in life. In other words, our minds may have stored the experiences, but without language, they became difficult to access as we grew older. Are our childhood memories still there? Hidden but not lost, some researchers believe that early childhood memories aren't actually erased, they're just inaccessible. Studies have shown that even when people can't consciously recall events from early childhood, their brains still react to things they experienced during that time. This suggests that some of those lost memories might still be buried in our subconscious. Emotions make memories stick. Emotions play a huge role in memory. Highly emotional experiences, whether joyful or traumatic, are more likely to be retained. This is why some people can recall fearful or intense moments from their early years, even if they don't remember much else. Why do some people remember more than others? The role of storytelling. Memories become stronger when they are revisited and reinforced. If your family frequently told stories about your first words or early childhood adventures, you are more likely to retain those memories. However, if those memories were never spoken about, your brain may have let them fade over time. Can we recover lost childhood memories? Hypnosis and memory retrieval. Some psychologists believe that techniques like hypnosis, deep meditation, or therapy can help people recover lost childhood memories. But there's a catch. Our brains can create false memories. If we try too hard to recall something, our minds may fill in the blanks with imagined details. So, while some childhood memories may still exist within us, retrieving them accurately is not always guaranteed. What does it all mean? The reason we forget our early years is a combination of brain development, language, and how we store memories. But just because we can't recall those years doesn't mean they didn't shape us. The experiences from our early childhood still influence our thoughts, fears, and emotions in ways we may never fully understand. So here's a challenge for you. What's the earliest memory you can recall? Drop it in the comments and let's see who remembers the farthest back. And if you love unraveling the mysteries of the mind, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss a video. Because sometimes, the biggest mysteries are the ones inside our own minds.